Here I'm going to show you how to change the door overlay. So there's a few different places you can do this. You can do this uh, if you want all your library cabinets to change. So from now on forever, you go to your libraries and your products, and then you go to parameters. And there's a bunch of different uh, categories here. You want to go to the doors tab. And this is where you, se you select all your uh, reveals. So if this is for frameless, which is what mine's set to, you go like this. Th these are all your gaps here. So that's your top drawer height. This is your top reveal. So for a base cabinet, I have it set to, well, on this one, it's uh, 7.1 mil, which is kind of weird, but uh, the wall cabinets we have set to 3 sixteenths on the top. Uh, the base we have it to just over a sixteenth. Uh, we have wall cabinets at 3 sixteenths. This reveal on the side is a sixteenth. And then if you have an applied end, it jumps to 1 eighth. So one one handy thing here is that you can select any of these and it will give you a visual uh, idea of where that is. So let's say you're not sure what this is, but you're trying to change the side of the reveal. So you go question mark here. This is works for every single one of these. Gives you a good idea of what that is. This is the reveal over the side, just like that. Same thing for, uh, let's say the mid, click this one here between a drawer and a door or a drawer and a drawer. That's what this is. So if you change this to like a quarter, 0.25, that will change for your library for every cabinet you drop in. I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to click cancel. Uh, I don't want to save it. So that would mean every single one of these cabinets in your library, which mine, I have this Hillcrest cabinets library. So every single one in your library would change to that. Now, another way to change this is, say you started a job, and I have this job here. You can change, you get to that same menu, but instead of going to the products, which was here, products, parameters, you go to edit job parameters. Brings up the exact same menu, but this is going to change just for this job. So let's make something very obvious here. The pair gap, which is two doors joining together. Let's make it something crazy like one inch so it's really obvious what it's changing. So you'll see when I change that to one inch and I click OK, it's going to update and it's going to split this one and this one to one inch apart. So you can see now it's one inch apart. Now if I just take this and go from there to there, that's one inch gap. So that's how you do it in the job parameters. Now let's change that back to 1 8th. Then you can go to frameless reveal mid, which is the gap between drawer fronts. And you can change that to 1 inch. Click OK and it will update all these, these two gaps here. And it will change these ones back. Just takes a hot second for it to uh, update. There you go. So now you got big gaps there. So if you want to change it for just the cabinet, so like I said, if this has an applied door on the side, right? So you can see it's coming flush to the drawer to the door here. Uh, so instead of one sixteenth, which we have here, it changes it to an eighth. So that gives you a little bit more clearance when you have an applied end that's flush to the door which is what you want really. And then if you go here, because there's no applied end, it's only a 16th from here to, I'm gonna zoom in a little more, to here. And now if you wanna change it for each cabinet individually, you double click the cabinet, you get into the product editor, you go to the face tab. Here you can adjust any of these. Let's go to the bottom one and for sake of this, I want to split this into two separate doors. Uh, so let's go here and I want to adjust. So 
you select the opening you want to change the overlay on. Say I want to select this one, you hit adjust, and you change the reveal here. So top, bottom, left, right, inset will bring it in and out. So if you want to change change it so it's you know sticking out or inset, you can do that here. But on the bottom, let's just add one inch so you can see visually what's happening here. So you just added one inch to the bottom. Now what does that do to the drilling? Uh, let's see here, perspective into the wireframe. So you can see, let's actually change it to the left side. You can see that it maintains its, well we have it set at four inches, so it maintains the hinge plate location. So you don't have to worry about that, you just drill your door normally. Um, and then you can just adjust those overlays. So here, we're gonna adjust this one on top, 0.5. This is a totally wacky looking cabinet, but you get the idea of what's happening here. So that adjusts everything into the cabinet and that doesn't change anything else anymore. So there's three ways, I'm just gonna do it again, three ways that you can adjust that into the products tab, which changes it for everything that you add. If I did it to this and I added a, one of these in, it would adjust. If you do it in the job parameters, this updates the parameters for just this job. Same goes for anything else in here. You can adjust any of these things and it just adjusts it for this job. And the last is you go into the cabinet and you hit parent. Oh, the other way you can do it. So there's two ways actually. You can do it on the face tab and you can do it here. But say you have a cabinet that, you know, you want every face on the cabinet to change. You can also adjust the parameters the same way that you did the other two times here. So you go, instead of adjusting it manually on the face, you just go to parameters tab. You hit select product parameters, brings up that same menu. Tricky thing with this one is you have to actually load it into this cabinet before you can edit these. It won't let you touch them right here. So say I want to change the pair gap. Uh, what is this cabinet? Let's change, yeah, the pair gap. You have to select that cabinet. And again, you can hold control and add a bunch of them if you have to. But for me, I'm just going to add the pair gap and click OK. And you can edit this now in this menu. Change it to one inch. That will split the doors to one inch. So the advantage of this is that, say you, you want to load something in here that you want to change quickly, you can add this to every cabinet in your library and quickly edit it. Sometimes I don't want an applied door here, I just want, you know, panel. So it'll just change it to the cabinet with no applied door. So that's why I leave this one here. So again, if you wanted to do that, you go to products, parameters, or sorry, products. So this, let's do this one more time. You go to uh, products, you go to you, your cabinet. This is where we've added it, so it shows up every time you add it. You go to the cabinet, and then you can dump it in here so it's got all these parameters that are required. Hope that makes sense. Thank you.